All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I went to a grocery store yesterday, so hopefully I didn't get uh, coronavirus. <laughs> well, actually, I went to the smaller one because I just needed spinach. But um, I don't know. I uh, I kind of don't want to go to Target to stock up on groceries again. But uh, maybe I'll do that next week. Uh, <clears throat> but I mean, the problem is, what if everyone starts panic buying? Because we're because I just found out that. Mayor de Blasio is considering uh, food rationing. Uh, let's take a look. Um, Twitter. Hmm. I had to uh, also chug these uh, vitamin C chewables just in case. So this is a local uh, patch.com article or something. I haven't even heard of them. But anyway, uh, we don't actually have enough ICUs according to this uh, article. And I actually was in one uh, a while ago when I had my anaphylactic shock from eating too much of that McDonald's shit. Now looking back, now I know what's causing all that inflammation. It's just me being overweight. And my body is just taking in too much energy. That's actually what's that's actually what's causing it. And yeah, it feels really bad because you literally cannot breathe. And then it gets to the point where your heart actually just stops working. Like, I really did feel like I was dying. It's like, oh, shit. It's like, avoid the light. Avoid the light. I can't go yet. I can't go into the afterlife yet. I got so much left to do. So, uh, yeah. And, um, well. Well, when you get, apparently when you get coronavirus, it's the exact same thing happens. You go into anaphylactic shock. And then your body just caves out. So the reason why people compromise immune systems in old people die from it is because obviously your body just can't handle it anymore you, you, you you're, you're, you're too weak and then you die from this shit this is uh de this definitely looks like times square i mean it probably is i kind of recognize the uh this thing over here anyway it's pretty uh, it's pretty empty over here all right yesterday while i was going to the grocery store it was 5 p.m or so or 5 15 right the peak of rush hour typically i was actually able to go across the street Right? Well, normally I couldn't do that because there's too many cars going back and forth because it's rush hour, so there's tons of traffic. I didn't see that. I actually, it was basically like a typical Saturday afternoon, right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, the good news is everyone is taking the quarantine and self-quarantine stuff very seriously. The only, the, only, the only concern I have now is, A, racism against us Asian people because people are actually targeting us. There was like a white guy, maybe a Hispanic guy, but he looks more white. That like was like uh, he actually shoved some Asian guy uh, his head against something, and then also did something with his kid. And then in Texas, the guy looked like an illegal alien, like slashed up like a Burmese guy. But he was he looked he basically looks Asian, so he actually looks Chinese. So you couldn't really tell the difference. They slashed the Asian father up. They slashed a ten year old son. They both had to go to the hospital and get some severe stitches. I did actually. I only hit the like button. I didn't actually retweet it because it was just too much. It was too. It was too. It was too graphic. But yeah, this shit's getting real, man. But you know, um, the funny thing is because everyone's kind of basically self-isolating. You know, it makes it a lot easier to do social distancing. So that should, for now, keep the uh, the fear at bay. But I don't know. It's going to get a lot. Uh, it's going to get a lot more intense. But I did spend a lot of time yesterday um, going over this. Uh, let me see. David Frum, of course, is being an asshole. And actually, um, Nick Fuentes does actually read his thing here because I tagged him over here. All right, and then <clears throat> Nick actually hit the like button. So yesterday, everyone was complaining about uh, Trump calling it uh, the Chinese virus or something like that. Yeah, I kind of appreciate that people are like, hey, let's not be racist, because it actually is going to, it's maybe a problem for me personally, because you want to enjoy my free content, you better make sure that, you know, those uh, uh, children of Satan don't, like, beat my ass up because they made a judgment on all Asian people and just assume that we all have the coronavirus, when obviously that's not the case. I Man, I got to worry about someone else giving me the fucking coronavirus. That's why I'm <laughs> sitting on my ass all day, you know, watching YouTube videos, learning how to code and all that shit to make my game. It's got, I'm actually glad I got Playmaker because it's so much easier to use that than to actually do all the scripting. But anyway, I made a little, nice little thread here. I gotta figure out how to make it so you can make it change because I always just did retweet. But anyway, 
Right now, there's a lot of bashing about China. You can criticize China, and that's fine. <clears throat> and we actually should criticize China, right? Because, um, again, I think uh, it's not too long ago, but I, felt, I didn't know that 80% of our medical supplies come from China. That's a huge security risk, right? Can you imagine if Israel or China got 80% of their medical shit from a foreign country? <laughs> you know how? That's a huge security risk. You can't do that. You gotta, like, bring all your shit home. Even I fucking know that, right? You know, and I'm Chinese, and I live here in America. It's like, I can't, I, I, it, it just astounds me. So, that's why the criticism is warranted. However, what I'm getting annoyed with is all these stupid fucks, especially so-called conservatives, right? The the blind, low-IQ megabots, right? They're all about, yeah, China's the biggest threat. China's the, China this, China that. Well, have you noticed that you're able to criticize China, but you don't have to worry about getting deplatformed or debanked, right? But you replace the word China with, like, say, a certain country in the Middle East that you can't criticize, like, say, Israel. Uh, then notice, you know, all these bad things happen to you, right? Or you replace Israel with, like, a protected group in America, right? Notice I had to delete all my political videos because of the exact same thing. So, I mean, who's really in charge? Who really is the biggest threat to America? It's not China, because if China really was the biggest threat to America, you would not be able to criticize it, and we definitely would not be able to certainly consider and even talk about decoupling from China. Right? Of course, China's not going to be happy about it, but they don't have any real control over America. That's why they're complaining. When other countries and groups complain, uh, they take away your PayPal, they take away your Twitter, they take away your fucking YouTube, blah, and then uh, they go after your jobs. So if for those of you who work, like I don't even have, I haven't even had a job in a long time, so I don't even think in terms of having a job. But they, they take away your job, you get fired, and then you're fucked, right? So how, like you're gonna want, you're gonna become like Alex Jones or Laura Loomer or Milo Yiannopoulos. How are you gonna make money, all right? And it only happened to them because they're famous, all right? What happens if you're an average Joe? You're you're screwed. You don't have fame to fall back on, all right? And ultimately, that's why I tagged Nick Fuentes. I ran out of space so i just had to uh squeeze in what i thought would be the most important thing and it's this right here right if i had more room i also would have said uh the free speech thing everybody lined up literally and like their grandma to bash china over the blizzard entertainment china hong kong censorship thing right well where are all these stupid fucks when google facebook youtube twitter are banning us conservatives or just banning people in general you don't hear a fucking peep from uh most like 99 percent of them Right, Paul Gosar complains about it, so he's cool. Josh Hawley complained about tech censorship, so he's cool. Now I have a feeling he might not like us Asian people. I kind of get that vibe from him. Uh, it's not too overly crazy about it, but it's definitely something I'm gonna have to, you know, keep an eye on when he gets more famous, if he does. But, but, um, it, basically, I'm basically calling out hypocrisy on this, and it's just really starting to get annoying. Um. But anyway, uh, yeah, Nick Fuentes was starting alarm bells about other countries that are harming America. It's not just China. There are other countries that harm us. You notice I can't name them because obviously I'm going to get banned. Uh, oh, and they'll take, in my case, the uh, multiplayer backend service. Because I can't code it on my own. It's impossible. I, I don't have $250 fucking million dollars like Blizzard Entertainment has. So I have to use the third-party services. That's it. All right. I guess I could use shitty uh, UMMORPG and then use Mirror, but it can only support a thousand concurrent players. So what am I supposed to do with that? I, mean, I guess technically I just buy more servers. But that's the thing. I would still have to buy a third-party hosting service. <laughs> what am I going to do? But anyway, immigration's a threat to America. Lack of Christianity and morality in America. Like all these so-called fucking conservatives are bashing China. How come you're not helping us with the Groyper War shit? Because that seems to be a much bigger threat. At the very least, it's the same kind of severity of threat, right? And it's a different kind of threat, but it's still pretty severe, right? And that's why I'm getting annoyed, right? And I have to pay the price for it because that fucking random white racist guy uh, that, you know, two days ago that punched a, um, an Asian guy and, you know, shoved his head in. Yeah, because he sees shit like this. So at least if, you know, are we going to get the benefit of criticizing China? If we're going to get the, de if I'm going to get the downside of it. And it's just very frustrating. It's very, it's very frustrating. 
And it also is also another reason why a liberal in America, their existence is justified because they're the ones also kind of pushing back against, you know, hatred against us Asians. All right, you know what that's called, right? It's called fucking karma. I've always talked about it, right? I mean, I had to delete most of the political videos where I talked about it, but it's the same fucking thing, right? If you don't like liberals, well, then you should probably learn the best aspects of being a liberal and incorporate into yourself, all right? But I don't see that, all right? All I see is everyone jumping on the bandwagon to bash China, all right? Because, well, I hate to say it, but they probably actually don't like us Chinese people, all right? I mean, it's not as bad as, say, what black people have to deal with, but uh, it's eventually going to reach that point, right? Because, again, people are just fucking retarded. Satan's their daddy, and Jesus Christ and God is not, uh, you know, their real dad. Even though they might say that they are their, um, they believe in Jesus Christ, right? As Jesse Lee Pearson says, they know of God, but they are, but they are not of God. And I can easily tell, right? Because recently... <clears throat> I had one uh, background actor still bother me about something called a SAG waiver for her lazy, unemployed loser son. I didn't say that, but I should have before I blocked her. And it's been like four or five years since I made my movie, and she's still fucking bugging me about it. Right? And on top of that, she's now evolving the lie. Right? Because uh, Screen Actors Guild looked at the waivers, they didn't approve of it, and that's it. Like, we want me to fucking do, right? And she's like, no, you didn't do anything. You're just, uh, I'm just like, shut up. And then I just blocked her. I mean, I'm hoping she, she's not able to sue me, but, you know. Yeah, she does. Like, what's she going to be able to sue me for? Like, I can't compel the union to do whatever. And on top of it, she's, you know, her son actually was never there, right? She and I agreed at the time that we filmed that, hey, we're just going to give him a waiver, because why not? Right? And somehow SAG figured out that was bullshit. So they just gave him one. When he didn't deserve it the, at one in the first place. Instead of being grateful for what he has. So why don't fucking blame me? And on top of that, it's easy to get them. Just do your own little thing like I did. It doesn't have to be anywhere near as complex. Alright? I mean, maybe the rules might have changed. It's been like, you know, a long time since I did any screen acting. Since I did any acting, really. But it's like... <sighs> oh yeah, it's just, it's just, and then what, what was frustrating about it was, I decided to play the Christian card and just see what she says, and oh, that's great that you're believing Jesus Christ, I, I do too, and then she proceeds exactly to do the complete opposite of all this Christian stuff, lying, getting angry, uh, making, and then continuing the lie, and then saying, no, I'm not lying, you're lying, and it's like, oh my god, like, there, there's, now I know why she's, like, single and divorced and like has been like that way for like decades it's like you, you gotta be kidding me you gotta be kidding me and then now you want to drag me into it no i'm not gonna be your fucking husband all right you know so it's like yeah just whatever i'm blocking you so um yeah very bad very very bad and i'm seeing something similar play out so for all the shit that nick fuentes gets at the very least, I can tell that he actually is a real Christian, right? Because, yeah, he's able to criticize, but I can definitely tell he doesn't seem to have that angry, rageful hate that, like, you know, I'm starting to get a little worried about, right, with this whole coronavirus bullshit. So, yeah. But anyway, that's, I had to spend a lot of time to make sure I kind of had to get that off my chest. Um, I don't know if I'm going to include that in the title, right? But... Yeah, and then, and then there's YouTube. Oh my god, YouTube is like just being stupid. Uh, before we move on, I'll show you what I mean. Because I got this yesterday, but um, with fewer people review counted, our automated systems will be stepping in to keep YouTube safe. More videos will be removed than normal during this time, including content that does not violate our community guidelines. We know this will be hard for all of you. Uh, we appreciate your patience, and then they're going to blah blah. blah. Yeah, see, here's the thing. YouTube is now saying they're going to censor even more because they're on your staff. Like, this is just, is this, this, see, <clears throat> see, like I said before, all those assholes completely complain about China censorship. Why are they fucking complaining about this? This is fucking censorship, too. It's actually worse. <clears throat> now I'm losing my voice. So, it's just, it's just like disgusting and annoying and just really tilting. 
My God, I hate this raid of Bit Hero so much. I need one more item from this place, and then once I, once I get it, I'm just done. Because this is just a stupid mechanic. Because uh, you hit an enemy, and everybody in your group loses 15% uh, current health uh, instantly. And it doesn't matter. So even if you're like level a million, and they're like still level one, they'll still take out 15% of your health. It's it's such a stupid mechanic. <clears throat> And then there's like, you know, up to four of these monsters. So you could theoretically lose, I mean, I don't want to do the math, but basically 15% less each time, four times. So that's like 50% less. Like you take a lot of damage essentially. And like, it's, it's so, it's, and then I have to go in, I have to revive everyone and then put it back on auto. And it's just like so annoying. So anyway, Bitcoin search interest for this week appears to remain steady like last week at what, 19? Hmm. So it's not too bad, you know. Unfortunately, now that people are starting to punch Asian people or slash them in the case of the Texas Asian people, um, that actually is a little more uh, informative to me, not only because, hey, I don't want to get punched or shoved or stabbed or whatever, but also because um, <clears throat> it indicates to me that sentiment has basically is going to start reaching a, uh, I don't know if this guy could say a bottom point, but I should start really thinking about it. And, uh, you know, like there's a saying in investing, you should be buying when there's blood in the streets. That's, a, that's kind of essentially what we're kind of approaching. So yeah, on the one hand, it's very bad, but on the other hand, it also would just mean, hey, this is a good time to start buying shit, right? So, because everyone's already freaking out. So, you know, just like the bear market with cryptocurrency that, you know, we've just went through, at some point, you can't sell anymore because it's just like we've already dumped. Everybody who wanted to dump have, has dumped, so it can't go any further because you don't have any more cryptocurrency to dump with. It's going to be the same exact thing with stock markets and real estate and everything else, and we're going to definitely talk about MRRL because uh, now it's just tanking. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, whatchamacallit? <coughs> mm, excuse me. I really hope that's not coronavirus, but I mean, I went out yesterday and flus usually take like three to five days. Uh, but I think it's just more because like I had a really good night's sleep last night, so I, I guess my chest didn't move. So it's a little, so the muscles are a little bit aching because it isn't moved during the night kind of thing. Uh, so, so yeah, I think my chest muscles are just being a little agitated. Uh, but with that being said, uh, what was I say? Yeah, it's going to be saying it with stocks. So that's why I'm thinking. However, oh yeah, so it is going up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, so I said today was supposed to be a dead cat bounce. This is not a dead cat bounce. It's just like not really going up much, but it's still pretty early in the day. So now I'm kind of stuck, right? Because, oh yeah, I know. We'll, we'll all talk about it, but uh i don't know i kind of want to buy mrl it's 227 however the uh because people are defaulting on uh we'll talk about it later but there is a reason why it's dropping all right so bitcoin does at 63.6 percent 24 hour volume is 131 billion a little under that uh bitcoin uh it says it it's up 5.7 percent but it's the same price I, I guess i guess it's from this, this little bottom here it's at 51 Excuse me. Oh, that was a big burp. Yeah, if I tried suppressing that, I would have hiccups for the next three hours. 55,179. Bucks, Litecoin's uh, 33.88. I don't know why everything is up a lot of green percent. It's like it's, it's flatlined. Um, so, oh, well, whatever. Doggy coin, 199.6 million. So also flatlining. Uh, Steam. Where is Steam? 12.57 cents so same thing as well so crypto is more or less pretty stable from yesterday uh mmrl is now tanking uh because uh, i don't know i don't want to go back through my twitter but basically mike cerovich actually made a good point um because everyone is being affected by this shutdown right that means most employees and poor people are they live paycheck to paycheck so now they can't afford to pay rent most Americans, especially poor working class people, don't have enough money to um, don't have enough money to basically uh, you know pay rent. So when you can't pay rent, then the landlord doesn't get rental income, and when the rent landlord doesn't get rental income, if they're going to be like, what I'm going to eventually do is 
Uh, and the same thing happened in 2008, 2009, right? People are going to default on their rent payments, and then they default on the mortgage payments, the landlord, and then every, and it starts a chain reaction. Uh, so that's actually why this is going down a whole lot, because now people are just going, you know what, it's going to be the 2008, 2009 crisis. And on top of that, more bad shit. So it's having a very devastating effect. Now, 225 is really cheap. But the problem is, what if I want to wait till it's like 50 cents or even a dollar? Like it's definitely another gamble. Like my gamble of doing nothing yesterday paid off. Do I want to double down and gamble again and do nothing today? Ah, uh, I don't know. I actually don't know. This is like the first time because my money is still in my stock market account. So like I could buy now and then if MRL tanks, I could just fund it fund my account again and they're like fifteen hundred bucks or seventeen fifty. Like that's my version of dollar cost averaging. Uh, I'm not going to be buying crypto because obviously crypto is pretty stable, right? 3388. In fact, when I bought it on last Friday, I bought it like kind of like $38 a piece, I think. That's what the price was. So it's pretty much the same thing. All right. But MRL, you know, meh. uh, let's see. So now we're starting to see the signs of the dead cat bounce, but it could be a recovery. The problem is we still don't know. Uh, Fed to reinstate commercial paper funding facility. Yeah, the Federal Reserve is going full ham uh, on the money. But here's the thing, like that bill that the House passed where they're going to give relief to everybody, some fucking asshole Senate Republican uh, is like wants to remove this paid sick leave provision, right? It's like, I, I, uh, I don't even remember this asshole's name, but I want him out, right? Like, like... This is a slam dunk for the Republicans, and now they're gonna fuck over the very same people that vote or that vote Republican, and, and and then and then Republicans wonder why everybody hates them so much, why conservatives and Republicans decide to vote Democrat, because you're you're literally fucking them in the ass without their consent, right? You know, it's like, it's yeah. But anyway, I had to uh, before I started this video, I was reading a dissident right website. I can't even name it anymore. I can't even hint at the name of it anymore. Uh, and he basically said it's a big central banking scam. He actually used much more choice words, but we can't say it on YouTube, especially now that YouTube's going to be censoring more videos and not giving a sh. Uh, this whole place is this, this whole system is just so dysfunctional. My game will definitely not have this kind of dysfunction. Like it's going to be heavily regulated. I will be ruling with an iron fist, China style. All right, but the difference is my shit's going to work. Right? I would never allow stupid shit like what's happening in America to like even fester. Right? You know. Uh, in fact, there was someone. Oh yeah, there's also a patent troll thing going on. Like some like a patent troll is suing a coronavirus testing facility that we need it. If, I, if this were China, the first thing that would happen is not only will we throw out day one, maybe day two, but day one, probably, we would not only throw out the lawsuit, but we would find all the lawyers and the people they represent and arrest them and put them in jail. And then tell them, if you do this again, we'll, we're, we'll release you in five days, but if you do this again, you're going to rot in the Chinese torture prison forever, all right? Because that's what I would fucking do, all right? That's what China would do, all right? We, it's like... We need this coronavirus test. We know your thing is bullshit, so stop fucking with it. And we're going to put you in jail to discourage you from doing it again. But the problem is, America is so, like, they put, America really does put money above God. So that's why this whole thing is playing out. Now it's just a big, yes, it's a big, big business, big globalist scam. Like, the poor people need the money the most. So why aren't they getting the fucking money? And now they're trying to scam money out of the poor people they need, especially the paid sick leave people. Just give them the damn paid sick leave. Because if you don't give it to them, then they can't pay rent and everything collapses. Like, like there are so many Republicans... Like, the fact that he's a Republican senator, I don't know his name, it's just so retarded. It's so retarded. All right, so anyway, I see the markets are going up. Um, MMRL. Okay, I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do an emergency buy. Uh, I'm going to have to buy right now. Um... I don't care if I'm wrong. I'm just going to refund my account. Uh, not refund as in, you know, you know, I got scammed. I want a refund. But I'm going to fund again. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm going to I'm going to fund my account again with another uh, 15 to 1750. Uh, today's a dead catch, dead cat bounce. Uh, however, I'm seeing some interesting activity. 
I'm scooping up, uh, I'm scooping this shit up. Uh, let's see, trade. Yeah. Hmm. AMZA is also down to $1.18. Uh, I mean, you can't see because I'm on Chrome now. I just logged into my account. Do I want... No, man. Two AMZA stocks will equal the price of MRRL. Hell no, man. What am I thinking? All right. I'm buying. I'm, bu I'm buying, man. I'm buying. I'm buying. Uh, I got to buy now. I got to buy now. See, people panic buy toilet paper. I panic buy fucking stocks, all right? Because that's how rich people roll, right? And then once I make all that money and the panic is over in toilet paper, then I can use the dividend income or the cash flow from all my cryptocurrency and stocks and shit to buy all the toilet paper I could ever want, right? You know, it's, it's about timing. And see, this is what the real timing is. Uh, MRRL, 1772, it's at two, oh yeah, this shit's already skyrocketing, fuck. Uh, 100 shares, okay, let's do 600 shares. Uh, I don't have to do that, holy shit, I could buy way more than 600, are you kidding me? 750 shares. Preview order, 1747, oh my god. Yeah, um, the, yeah, we're, uh, 1770, I think I could do 761, but I'm going to be off by a couple of cents. Uh, yes, I am off by a couple of cents. 760 preview order. I mean, I, I need even, I need to blow my nose too. Is estimated order total? 1748. What? Oh, someone's dumping. Oh, okay. Someone just dumped. Okay, good, 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 good. That's what we want. 1770. Uh, yes, place order. Uh, hmm. Let's see. I actually should take a look. Let's see. I don't know. I don't even think I'm going to get any news items here. Uh, used book sale begins Wednesday. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Wanna, uh, oh, this is interesting. Announces mandatory. Uh, redemption of extra monthly pay. Uh, all assigned on monthly pay. Do, 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 monthly pay. Oh, so this might actually be why it's being dumped. Uh, uh, let's see, triggers are all there. It's really heavy, less than five bucks. So, as disclosed, more detailed pricing stuff, product da, 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 da. Uh, for payment of the will be made. Uh, make sure, oh man, so they're actually uh, we'll suffer. Will suffer a loss. Furthermore, investors who sell their securities at any time prior to is less the. Oh man, I think I might actually have finally lost money on this shit. Securities A, securities are one of the extracts. Uh, see, they always make this shit so fucking confusing. It does say it does say you will lose money here. Investors who purchase here at any time prior to listing for an amount that is greater than the application acceleration amount that will receive an AS date will suffer a loss in their investment. Furthermore, investors who sell securities at any time prior to listing that is less than the, the they would have received an acceleration date. Once you sell it, it determined will also suffer a loss. Oh uh, yeah, so it's basically a big banking scam. Damn, so if this actually is what I think it is, I basically take like a 40, 50 grand loss on this. So which means I should have bought Microsoft, fuck me. Uh, see, that's why I didn't really tell all of you to buy it, but I just told you what I buy, all right? And now, and now it's biting me in the ass. Uh, unsecured notes trade can be bought sold through. Uh, let's see. Shit, do I actually have to sell my current stock? I really don't want to. But according to this, they're just going to do a mandatory redemption. Oh, I agree. Uh, let's see. And also monthly. Let's see. MR will be. In accord with the terms, share the result. So basically, this thing is dead. Oh man, yeah, everyone's dumping this stuff. Fuck. Do I really have to dump the stock? So I can't actually buy. I have to actually sell this shit. <clears throat> Great. I can't. Oh my god. Great. All right. Oh man, let me find out. I mean, I don't even think I can dump it. I don't even think I can dump it for that much. Great, I got logged out of my fucking... Uh, man, they had to... They're doing a mandatory redemption. Uh, yeah, let's see. 
If I dump everything now, let's see. I am going to get, let's see. Yeah, I'm only going to get like 10 grand. Oh my God. And like, I think the IRS says you can only, yeah, it's, oh my God. Let me see. 8,907 cents. Yeah, fuck me. Uh, let's see. I have taken a loss of... Uh, I don't know, before the thing happened, around... 50 grand? But that's the capital gains loss. Then I got dividend income. So I lost like $35,000 off of fucking UBRS. Because I didn't actually know about the um, fucking mandatory bullshit. Uh, but the problem is they said it's mandatory redemption. So I sold it before. So I mean, I don't know. Like, what am I going to get in the next thing? Let's see. Uh, what is the debt? Okay. <clears throat> Will be manually redeemed in accordance with the terms of, as a result of the occurrence of an acceleration upon minimum capability on March 16, 2020. Uh, is detailed in our quality of and all of a sudden we automatically accelerated. Payment of the acceleration amounts will be made in the acceleration settlement date, which is expected to be March 25th, 2020. So that's in eight days. Uh... Oh, okay. So March twenty. Oh, I mean, I just sold everything. So now, so I'm, I don't think I'm uh, eligible for this. So it'll be pretty funny if I dumped everything and then when they do the settlement date, they pay out like five dollars a piece or some shit. Like, cause I don't know if I want to be able to hold this. Damn, that really sucks. I mean, even if I hold it, like I'm only gonna get like at most like what five bucks. It's probably gonna be a lot less because tech. Cause when I read the perspective, it was really confusing. But basically, they said it could be uh, nothing. So I think that's what's happening here. Oh, man. So the high dividend shit, you know, I would have been better off getting 50, 60 grand in fucking Steam. Because at least with Steam, I wouldn't be called out on this. Well, well, now you know. Like, I just lost uh, a shit ton of money. I just lost a shit ton of money. So it's going to be around... I don't know, 35, 40 grand. It's actually a little less than that because of the fucking, um, uh, whatchamacallit. It's going to be because of the stupid dividends. So, like, that, you know, reduces my risk. But I definitely lost money on this shit. So, well, I mean, I can't get pissed. I mean, I kind of somewhat knew the risks, right? But I just didn't know about this. So, yeah. All right, well, now I have to decide what fucking stock I'm going to buy. It's going to have to be... I mean, I'm probably just going to start just mass buying Microsoft at this point. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess we might as well find out. Let's see. Man, I haven't, I haven't made a mistake like this in a long time. But it's what happens when uh, you play a little too greedy. Uh, performance distribution. I mean, even this stupid fucking stock is still around. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, I, mean, I guess I could get. I guess I can get RF. Five <clears> percent. <throat> oh, uh, let's see. RF. I know this one's pretty good too. Eight fifteen. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Uh, I guess I'll just have to do covered calls on everything. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to go in and buy uh, this stock. So I'm going to have to rebuild my fucking thing. Because I don't want all this cash just sitting here. And I do want to buy again. All right, so... Oh, man. So I just took a $35,000 loss. Well, at least I'll be able to kind of write off... What is it, 3000 I mean, it's such a fucking scam what we have. Um, oh, my... God... I have to admit, my stock brokerage, like the... Okay, I got the quote. Can I fucking trade it? All right, now I'm actually starting to get annoyed because I want to trade. God. Trading. Oh, my God. This thing is so fucking annoying. Symbol RF. All right, I just got to buy now, and then I have to do a covered call so I could start... Uh... 
Here we go. R F. <clears throat> and if the if the correction still comes in, I'll probably just buy more R F stock because I guess now I have to do actual cover calls every freaking month. Um, hmm. Securities, total cash, market. Uh, well, let's see. I can probably buy. Well, let's do fifteen hundred. That's not quite what I have, but let's see. Uh, the value of this is twelve thousand three hundred. I've got ten thousand seven sixty four left to trade. So thirteen hundred shares. <clears throat> so thirteen hundred shares means I can do. 13 covered calls, so that's actually an okay amount. Uh, 1660, I need to modify this. I want a little more, so 1310. Uh, 10,742, now I can buy two more shares, I think. Let's do this. Uh, okay, 10,000, okay, place, Order, yes. All right, my order has been submitted. I haven't seen this warning in a long time, the uh, regulation T or whatever. Uh, max settled funds, RF is so nice. All right, so yeah, normally this doesn't happen, but because I have to act, man, I was about to like go all in by MMRL, but I was like, you know, I should probably check the fundamental news. And then of course they announced that they're gonna do a, uh, uh, well, I can't say it, but I'll just say a big banking scam of, yeah, we're just not going to pay you any more money. So, yeah. So, yeah, all this regulation sh shit is bullshit. So, uh, that's why now I'm going to learn my lesson. Just buy stable stocks. Uh, not, no crazy leverage. Because you just saw me just get fucked in the ass. So, a $35,000 fucking lesson. Uh, but, uh. I mean, I should be angry, but I mean, I kind of already expected this would happen. So, you know, I, but, you know, I'll get my money out. You know, I was able to recover. So I take like 75% losses, I think maybe 70 or 65%. And I'll just rebuild it. All right. And this time I'll rebuild it, you know, buying real fucking stock. <clears throat> all right. So March 2020th calls. Nine dollars. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Um, you know, actually, can I really do that uh i mean it's only nine dollars so yeah let me see i have to basically think will the market skyrocket tomorrow or today i should say uh let's take a look here um eh, maybe I'm going to have to wait. Maybe I'll actually wait on the covered call because I don't think I can do one for... Yeah, April 17th is available. Um, $9, $10. Uh, I don't know. That's actually kind of expensive. Plus, there's just too much volatility. So I think for now, I'm just going to have to just let this one go, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to let it go. Hmm. Bummer. So yeah, you saw me get fucked. Like despite all of that, you know, I put I put my money in the wrong thing over the years. So now now it's gonna kill me. Um, <clears throat> I'm guessing they must have some sort of insider trading. So maybe they'll find out what the redemption amount is. But it's basically the same thing, probably. So. Yep, I got fucked. Uh, man, I really didn't want to sell. I wanted to hold it forever. So I guess next time I better actually buy real fundamental stocks and then just do covered calls if I really have to have that cash flow so bummer bummer all right well uh we don't really see too much stuff Wall Street whipsaws yeah so right now it's kind of neutral but it might go up so I don't know we'll have to see uh JFC coins at five to six um I'm gonna refresh one more time yeah so it's basically the same thing five to six 404 coin, their wallet finally came back on, so it's now 6 to 7. It's still it's pretty stable at this price, so not too bad. 2 by 2 coins at 66 to 67. Uh, so, yeah, I might get a little tilted throughout this video. So, you, I mean, I did just lose 35, 40 grand, so, uh, yeah. Uh, actually, that's what I'm going to... That's probably what I'm going to put on my tongue. I just lost 35, 40 grand because I bought the wrong stock over the years. <laughs> 
You know, if I didn't do that, I would actually be up a lot of money instead. You know, because I wouldn't have to sell. Because I did not want to sell, but I have to sell because they're redeeming the fucking thing. So there's no point in holding it. Because they'll just redeem it for a shitty amount of money. And it's basically it's basically all a scam too. So they're obviously just gonna put. They're basically gonna make me the shitty investor. Uh, you know, pay for everything. Sixty six to sixty seven. Uh, for two by two coins, so not too bad. So yeah, when people realize globalism and the big banking scam and all the people who run it are all pieces of shit, this is actually what happens. Because at least I can kind of take this hit, even though it sucks, right? Because the money was already out, and I got back eight thousand nine hundred seven dollars of it. So uh, yeah, it's not the ideal. But at least I got something out of it, right? But I lose a lot of time in progress, so. Uh, but you know that's just what happens. Sixty-three, sixty. Uh, oh, five thousand forty-two satoshis of a dog coin to sixty-three, sixty-three, sixty satoshis of a dog coin for compound coins. So this one's doing all right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's take. A, I mean, what? I see. I didn't expect to be doing that. So it's like right here forty-one minutes. Bitcoin is crashing when it's stuck. Uh, this is kind of old. Blah 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 blah. Bitcoin. Yeah, but there's one thing that won't happen, right? This shit won't scam me out to zero, like basically uh, MRL and UBS is doing. But to be fair, you know, it did say in the perspective that this could happen, and they just happened to execute it. Billionaire Tuner says Bitcoin essentially can transfer a trillion dollar industries. Bitcoin targets clean break from market mayhem, blah, 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 blah. Uh, computer, uh, Russian lawmakers who choose revamp bill restricting. Bitcoin, uh, this title is a little confusing. <clears throat> Steve Mnuchin is, oh, so we actually have some pretty important Bitcoin stuff. U.S. Treasury Department appoints Coinbase chief legal officer to oversee banking system. Uh, Brooks will serve as the next COO and first lady of the year after serving over his role as chief legal officer of the largest crypto in the U.S. Uh, huh. Okay, so even Steve Mnuchin now realizes he's got to get in on crypto. All right, that's like, this is actually really good. His role will be effective April 1st, April Fool's Day. Uh, okay, this is actually really good. So now Steve Mnuchin realizes, you know what, we need cryptocurrency. So so even in all this chaos, there are really good fundamentals happening for crypto and Bitcoin in particular. So Because Steve Mnuchin has been for a long time very anti-Bitcoin and crypto. So that's very, very good. Uh, Russia, this one's a little confusing. So says Bank of Russia will move to impose restrictions on Bitcoin and other crypto assets due to inherent risk. So Russia is going back to banning Bitcoin and crypto because, uh, you know, as much as I don't really have a problem with Russia, like this is really stupid. So, all right, well, whatever, you know, Russia is not going to do uh, anything except make the Russian people suffer. Uh, Trump is administering a... Stimulus, da, 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 quiet stock market, Ohio Kansas primary. Uh, Corrupted refused to court, so they are surrounding his house uh, to force him to. Uh, yes. Uh, it's big. Oh, that's a random thing. So, this is what it looks like to be in quarantine. Okay. Federal man also refused to court himself at a test positive. Yeah, see, he's tested positive for it. Uh, it's a stuff I don't have to take. Uh, sure did share and then how the United States. Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, they probably will beat him and then just force him back in. And if he gets away, they'll probably have him shot. That's probably what's going to happen. Because at this point, he actually is a dangerous individual, and he, and he, and he knows he has coronavirus, and he doesn't seem to care. That's the problem. Uh, their neighbors. Yeah, because I don't want this guy who actually has coronavirus walking around because he's going to affect all of us and we're all going to die from it. And it's going to overload the hospital system, right? When it can easily have been prevented. <clears throat> um, this is about us, not about I. So quarantine is a must. If we have to, we'll do it by force. Uh, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah, like what a selfish, satanic piece of shit. I actually wouldn't be surprised if he was the uh, a conservative type, actually, because we tend to be rugged individuals. But the problem is he has zero empathy. That's why he's doing this shit. And now you see the ugly side of being conservative, you know, so. Amazon suspends all non-essential non shipments to warehouses. 
Oh, okay. Well, I only buy essential shit from Amazon, so I, I should be fine. Those are closing all U.S. stores because of coronavirus withdraws 2020 outlook. Tired of years trying to find coronavirus city. Uh, White House takes new line after dire report on death toll. All right, so there's going to be more damage, and Trump has accepted the uh, damage. All right, uh, but for the most part, uh, Trump is doing the right thing. The fundamentals are getting stronger, and of course. <clears throat> Uh, Steve Mnuchin is actually starting to warm up the Bitcoin. So that's the important thing. So my YouTube title is going to be, uh, I find out I lost $35,000 live stock market. Steve Mnuchin uh, warms up the Bitcoin. I I'll have to, I mean, it's not going to fit, but I'll try to fit both of them for sure. Because yes, you see my successes, but you'll see my failures. And you know, this failure should not have happened, but it's because I made one tiny mistake buying the wrong stock over the years. So uh, now I'm just going to have to buy real fucking stocks, no leverage. And it kind of sucks because I really did enjoy those dividends. I really did. And I didn't have to do covered calls either. So there's no risk in terms of that, but now they're just going to whatever. So, all right, well, I just buy RF stock now because uh, that one's actually pretty decent. Like, it's going to have a similar amount of dividend income, and they're at, they're an actual medium to large size bank. So, um, <clears throat> watch my call. So, as long as they have good cash reserves, they don't go too crazy with the loans that they do. <coughs> they should be fine. Let's see. But I really did not want to fucking sell this stock. So, but, you know, they're going to fucking uh, mandatory rede uh, redeem it. So, uh, that's the end of that. I mean, if you just went in and bought it now for 220 and then they do the mandatory redemption, I think, in, what, one week? They'll probably pay you less than this. So, you don't get the dividend and you'll just get, like, a little bit. So, in my case, I would rather not do that because it could be zero. So, uh, yeah, yeah, bummer. But if I didn't have to sell, I would have made it an all right amount. But anyway, I decided to just buy RF because I'm just going to burn. I don't want to be burning money. However, if it continues to go down as the markets go down, yeah, I'll probably buy in again uh, when the Dow reaches like around 10,000, 9,600. And then after that, I kind of just have to just, you know, I, 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 I mean, how would the Dow go to two, 3,000? That wouldn't even make any sense, right? I mean, it, it'd just be ridiculous. But I would buy at that point again, too. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, things look pretty good. Trump is still trailing Joe Biden, but still not by much. So, like, but Trump, you know, like he said, uh, he's putting uh, people in America first this time. He's taking the virus seriously. And he said, uh, everything will correct itself when coronavirus goes away. Right? So, and that's all he cares about. And he knows it because if he doesn't do it, then he's, he's not going to get reelected at all. And that's why it's being re uh, reflected here. So... Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, and it really sucks to lose uh, 35 grand or 40 grand or whatever, uh, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. <clears throat> Make sure you uh, smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so you can continue growing this channel, because some guy just unsubscribed for some reason. So anyway, we had some uh, chaos. Damn, I pro I gave myself not so much pride because that's a Satan thing, right? But like you know, I was very satisfied with the way things were going because like okay, all my bases are covered. Uh, no, I bought the wrong stock because now they're doing the mandatory redemption shit. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess in the future I won't be doing that because again, it's a big banking scam. So. Uh, I'll just have to buy real stocks and then do covered calls. That's really the only stable way to do it. You know, le less income, but also less risk. There, like, there is a direct uh, correlation slash causation for that because you're getting more cash flow because you're taking on more risk. So you're compensated for that risk by getting more cash flow. But sometimes the risk still gets too much for you to handle. So, <clears throat> but with that being said, the banking system has been very uptight with lending money because they don't want to repeat 2008, 2009. So even if people are defaulting, I think it might still be a little, I think it might still be okay, right? I mean, it's still going to be a lot of damage and there's still going to be defaults and foreclosures, but we're just going to have to see, uh, you know, how this goes, right? Um, we still have until the end of March to see uh, how this uh, coronavirus uh, 
um, plays out. But in the press conference yesterday, Trump said, like the admiral, the four-star admiral, he actually said they're now in mass production phase. He specifically avoided that word, but basically we'll be doing a million tests a day or some shit like that. But, <clears throat> but uh, he said the fundamental was we have to get like the test correct, get it sent to the CDC labs and the state-sponsored CDC centers, and then once that works out pretty well, then they can start mass production and then get the test out to everybody. And they said they're gonna be it's gonna be free or waived or whatever. So, and yeah, the test seems pretty nutty. You, know, you have to jam a hose up your nose or something, and then you you know it's like, <laughs> and then everyone has to clean themselves too. <clears throat> God, my. I'm running out of breath, so. <clears throat> yeah, because, you know, I'm straining my vocal cords now. So, yeah. Anyway, Jurassic City Day or Night. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Again, I don't know what's going to happen this week. Today was supposed to be a dead cat bounce, and we kind of see that a little bit, but it's not nearly as much as I would have thought. So it might go down a lot tomorrow, the market set is, or it might actually just flatline as people try to reassess their emotions. Because that's what we're seeing here with cryptocurrency. <clears throat> so we're going to have to see what it does with the markets. But I decided to just simply buy in today. And yes. Excuse me. I had to dump all my MRRL. And I didn't want to. I wanted to hold it until, uh, you know, the final phase. But, well, UBS decided, you know, uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> so uh, that's what happened. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. You know, I think we might make this uh, the thumbnail since this is obviously a $35,000 fucking lesson. So, yeah. I don't even care about the tax deduction because that doesn't do shit. I only get 3000 out of it. Oh, big whoop. And I can only do it over. Like, it's such a huge scale. I didn't realize just how... Now I know why I became such a hardcore conservative slash anti-globalist because this is exactly how they scam people. Like, I'm paying for your services. It's not the rich, right? You know, so. Uh, but they're, they're going to get, they're, uh, I'm going to get my revenge. Because now that they're bashing Chinese people in China, all right, well, joke's going to be on the globalists. So, uh, And I'm going to make sure that once I do reach echelons of power, we're going to put them all, uh, either we'll put, be put in jail and we'll take all their money, or we'll take all their money, and then they get to go free. Right? They won't have a choice anymore, because I didn't have a fucking choice with this shit. So, anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and yep, here's the uh, here's the thing. <clears throat>